you want to be a godly man, you've got to go to church every Sunday, ideally twice on a Sunday, if you're really serious about it. So what do you look for in a church and what do you do in a church? Well, first of all, you'll look for teaching. You don't need a famous preacher. You just need a, a godly man who will faithfully explain and practically apply the word of God. He'll take every single word of God seriously. And ideally, you want a ministry that will have a mix of preaching to teach and preaching to evangelize so that you grow and you can bring friends along as well to hear the gospel regularly. So you want teaching. Secondly, you want worship. Not worship that is man-centered, man-glorifying, and man-pleasing, but worship that is God-centered, God-glorifying, and God-pleasing. Thirdly, you want fellowship. You need to meet with other Christians and talk with them and share with them. Ideally, from different backgrounds, cultures, different ages, so you get a real mix of people feeding into you and you feeding into them. And you want to pray together, practically help one another. Fellowship is so important in church. And then fourthly, you want discipline. You want a church that takes church membership seriously, who views it as both a privilege and a responsibility, where the pastor and elders will set high standards for Christian living and hold you to them and keep you accountable. So that's what you want to look for in a church. Teaching, worship, fellowship, and discipline. So, say you're in a church like that. What should you be doing in that church? Well, the first thing is support it. Support it with your presence, with your prayers, with your time, with your talents, and with your money. Support it. Secondly, you want to serve. Are there chairs to be set out or put away? Are there cups to be washed? Are there leaves to be raked? Um, is, is there a senior that needs visited? Is there a Sunday school class that needs taught? Look for opportunities to serve. And thirdly, submit. Submit to the spiritual authorities over you in the church. That means you accept, rebuke, admonition, and even discipline, if, if that's needed, it's for your good. But also, try and ask your elder or, or a pastor or, or, a, or a godly older man if they will mentor you, if they will feed into your life, if they will nurture you, maybe meeting with you once a month or every couple of months, and, and just a positive, older, mature influence upon you. And then fourthly, stay, stay, stay. I've never seen anyone prosper spiritually who just church hops, who leaves churches over the smallest things. Once you start doing that, sometimes you never stop and you remain spiritually stunted all your days. So when you get a good church, you want to support, serve, submit and stay. What's your action item for this week? Well, why don't you go to your pastor or one of your elders and say, what can I do to serve in this church? And then do it. Real men commit to the church. <laughs>